Hello, Benjamin. Ten lottery winners whose fortunes led to their tragic deaths. It's a common enough dream to scoop an unimaginable amount of money on the lottery. But for a surprisingly large number of winners, that dream quickly descends into a nightmare. Relatives and friends all want a cut, spending gets out of hand, and sometimes drugs and booze take their toll. And in the most tragic cases, a lottery win can even lead to a premature death. Number 1. Abraham Shakespeare Assistant truck driver Abraham Shakespeare's lottery ticket bought in November of 2006 saw the 40-year-old win $17 million. But in actual fact, Shakespeare had asked his fellow driver, Michael Ford, to buy the winning numbers in Frostproof, Florida. This was the first sign of trouble for Shakespeare. Subsequently, Ford tried to sue the winner for a million dollars. The litigation was unsuccessful, but unfortunately, this was not an end to Shakespeare's dramas. Three years after the win, his worried family went to the police to report his disappearance. Law officers eventually searched the backyard of a home belonging to Shakespeare's friend and business partner, Doris D.D. Moore. The lottery winner's body was found there under recently laid concrete. Moore was charged with Shakespeare's murder, found guilty, and sentenced to life without parole. Shakespeare had once said, I thought all these people were my friends, but then I realized all they want is just money. Sadly, he was 100% on the money with regard to Moore. 2. Amanda Clayton in September 2011, mother of two, Amanda Clayton, scooped a million dollars on Michigan Lottery television game show, Make Me Rich. The program certainly lived up to its name in Clayton's case, as the 24-year-old was then living in dire poverty in the city of Ecorse, Michigan. But sadly, things soon turned nasty when a local TV news channel got an amazing tip-off about Clayton. Less than a year after her win, Clayton was filmed being confronted in front of her house by a news reporter. It was alleged that, despite her winnings, Clayton was still claiming welfare. She did not deny the charge. Indeed, she was now officially charged with welfare fraud by the state and was given a nine-month probation for not declaring her winnings. Tragically, only three months later, Clayton was found dead at her home. Police believe the cause of death was an overdose of over-the-counter drugs. Three. Ibi Ranchioli Hungarian-born Ibi Ranchioli of Ontario won $5 million on the Canadian lottery game Lotto 649 in 1991. The then 56-year-old owned a beauty parlor while her husband Joseph was a gynecologist. Mr. and Mrs. Ranchioli were already comfortably off before the win, but now they were rolling it. But nevertheless, despite the couple being used to money, the situation turned uncomfortable for the Ranchiolis. Evie Ranchioli was found dead at home in July 2003, killed by a mixture of prescription drugs and alcohol. It subsequently emerged that she had previously handed over a clandestine $2 million to a son fathered by another man. Joseph was eventually convicted of manslaughter in 2008. The medical man insisted the overdose had been a mistake, but he was found guilty and sent to prison for seven years. 4. Billy Bob Harold Jr. In June of 1997, Billy Bob Harold Jr. won a staggering $31 million on the Texas Lottery, which he accepted as a series of annual payments of $1.24 million. Unsurprisingly, the 47-year-old quit his mundane shelf-stacking job at Harris County Home Depot. Harold was a committed Christian, and he was a good Samaritan to friends and family as well as his church, passing over significant sums of money. The paper multimillionaire bought a ranch for himself and houses and automobiles for various relatives. But then it all went sour, and Harold's expenditures became uncontrollable. A shockingly brief 20 months after his windfall, Harold locked himself in a bedroom at his luxury home. He then stripped off his clothes, held a shotgun to his chest, and pulled the trigger. Not long before he died, Harold had confessed to an investment specialist, winning the lottery is the worst thing that ever happened to me. Number 5. Gregory Birch Jr. Gregory Birch Jr. of Fitzgerald, Georgia, was working as a forklift driver when he lifted the Georgia Lottery jackpot of $434,272 in November of 2015. At the time, the 20-year-old told the game's organizers, I couldn't believe it at first. I was stunned. I'm still overwhelmed. Birch was living with his girlfriend and their three children at the time of his win. But just two months after his wonderful windfall, Birch was the victim of a terrible and brutal crime. A gang of masked thugs showed up at Birch's home and threatened him and his family with a shotgun. 
Birch offered them his bank card, but he was shot dead anyway. Police later arrested seven lowlifes and charged them with various offenses, including the luckless Birch's murder. 6. Aruj Khan In June of 2012, 46-year-old Chicago resident Aruj Khan bought a scratch card at a convenience store. He duly scraped away at the card and discovered that he had won a million dollars. Khan was already prosperous owning a string of dry cleaning businesses in his hometown, but this time he had really cleaned up. Subsequently, the Illinois Lottery reported that a jubilant Khan had shouted, I hit a million, but sadly, he was about to take a more fatal hit. Khan elected to take a lump sum and a check for $425,000 was issued on June 19th. But the very next day, Khan died unexpectedly. Initially, it was believed that natural causes had done for Khan, but a persistent relative was skeptical and pushed for a more detailed autopsy. Further tests from the coroner showed that Khan had died of cyanide poisoning. This naturally raised suspicions that the man who won a million could have been the victim of foul play. To date, no charges have been brought against anyone. 7. Keith Gao In 2005, a baker named Keith Gao and his wife Louise were well in dough when they won the equivalent of almost $12 million in the UK National Lottery. Unsurprisingly, Gao, from the town of Bridge North in Shropshire, bade farewell to the bakery and said hello to unbelievable newfound wealth. He and Louise now set about the serious business of spending their riches. The cash went on sundry items such as racehorses, high-performance cars, and, unfortunately, copious amounts of celebratory drinks. A couple of years later, the hangover had well and truly set in. Louise had left and Gao's drinking appeared to be out of control, leading to a stint of rehab. Speaking to UK tabloid The News of the World, Gao admitted, My life was brilliant, but the lottery has ruined everything. What's the point of having money when it sends you to bed crying? The former bakery's misery came to a sorrowful end in 2010, a mere five years after his big win. Gao died aged just 58 of a heart attack brought about by stress over money worries. 8. David Lee Edwards At the age of 46 in 2001, David Lee Edwards of Ashland, Kentucky had served jail sentences that amounted to about a third of his time on earth. He was jobless, living in a home with no running water and in arrears with child support payments. But then, Edwards bounced back in style. A Powerball ticket he bought won him no less than $27 million. Surely this was enough money to change not only his life but that of his girlfriend, Shauna Maddox, and his wider family forever. Sadly it was, but not for the better. At the check presentation ceremony, Edwards said, I want this money to last for me, for my future wife, for my daughter, and future generations. But then he celebrated with a mammoth spending spree, spoiling his buddies and himself with massive amounts of narcotics. Edwards is reputed to have blown an astonishing $3 million in the first three months following his win. Things went wildly downhill for the overwhelmed man from that point on. In 2013, a dozen years after his win, a broke and friendless Edwards died in a hospice. Number 9. Gerald Buswagon Gerald Muswagon's huge lottery win of $10 million in 1998 came courtesy of a $2 Canadian Super 7 ticket. In time-honored fashion, Muswagon of Winnipeg in Manitoba set about spending his unaccustomed wealth in style. The then 42-year-old bought luxury goods and cars for himself and his wide circle of friends, and a house that soon became a venue for raucous parties. And as a host, Muswagon did not stint on shelling out for booze and drugs. Even with his new riches, Poor Muswagon still managed to get into trouble with the law. In fact, he already had a criminal record that stretched back to 1981. In 2000, Muswagon copped a three-month sentence for dangerous driving. Two years later, he was sentenced to the same amount of time for sexual assault. Then in 2005, in a tragic end of a troubled life, Muswagon hung himself in a garage belonging to his parents. 10. Alex Toth in 1990, grinding poverty was a daily reality for Alex Toth in Hudson, Florida. The 42-year-old was unable to find work due to disability. It was largely left to his 33-year-old wife, Rhoda, a nursing assistant, to support their family of six children. Then it happened. The lucky couple won $13 million on the Florida lottery. They sensibly decided to take their winnings in annual payments. Alex and Rhoda would receive 20 checks for the ominous amount of $666,000. 
They started their new life with a three-month stay at the Mirage Hotel in Las Vegas in a $1 million per night suite. Share this video with your friends.